guilty on all counts. The jury in the Chad Debo murder trial returning their verdict earlier this afternoon. We've got team coverage again this evening. News specialist Lauren Steinbrecher and Daniel Woodruff are on the ground in Boise. And KSL investigator Daniela Rivera joins us in the studio. Let's start with Lauren Steinbrecher. Deanie and Ashley, hearing that verdict was emotional for so many people, especially the families of these three victims, Larry Woodcock and Kay Woodcock, J.J. Vallow's grandparents, coming out. Larry saying, uh, telling me earlier today, he did not sleep last night. Now he is able to breathe. Now, the Woodcocks came out of the courthouse to cheers people gathering outside to support the two grandparents. Larry saying that he truly forgot to breathe as they were reading Chad's verdict, but that they got what they prayed for. Now, Larry addressed the three people who matter most in all of this, saying, Tammy, I hope you're teaching kindergarten, providing wonderful books to children. Tylee, I hope you have grown to be a beautiful woman. And of course, his sweet grandson, JJ. JJ? You're 12 years old. JJ, Papa loves you. JJ, I miss you. But JJ, I will see you one day. Larry saying Chad and Lori cannot take away the memories that they have. They can never destroy or erase who these three people were who were lost. Now, uh, Tammy's um, sister and also a sister's husband were here in court today. Uh, from our understanding, they're not speaking publicly just yet, but they do plan to make a victim impact statement. Ladies. All right, Lauren, thank you. We continue our team coverage now with new specialist Daniel Woodruff. And Daniel, all eyes are now on the sentencing phase of this trial, right? That's right. The jury will be back here tomorrow morning to decide whether Chad Daybell will get the death penalty in this case. It's what a lot of people outside the courthouse were already thinking about and talking about as they reflected on today's guilty verdict. In Idaho, you know, we've got people on the death row that have been on there for 30 years. So, I mean, that's the same thing as life in prison almost. So I'm thinking either way that decision goes, he's going to get the same thing. 23, 24 hours in his cell alone and one hour to go outside. So justice has been served. Outside the courthouse today after the verdict, we also had a chance to talk with Dawson Murray. He's connected to the Daybell family by marriage. His brother is married to Chad Daybell's daughter, Emma. He told me this trial has caused a lot of tension in their family, but he hopes for healing moving on. Hoping that they can heal and come around, and at the same time, I've got the emotions of happiness that we know he's in there and he's not getting out. And the judge told the jury to be back here tomorrow morning at 8.30 to begin that sentencing or penalty phase of the Chad Daybell murder trial. Back to you. All right, Daniel, thanks for breaking that down. Appreciate it.